I'm standing out here at El Dorado Park. Historically, this neighborhood has been referred to as Sin City. It's one of my most economically impacted neighborhoods. Historically has had a lot of crime, but it's really the story of a neighborhood that has lifted itself up. A lot of good neighbors doing good work here. City wanted to be a part of that. We heard that this park was in jeopardy of being sold off, which is the only green space available to a lot of the neighbors and children living here. And so we teamed up with West United Methodist Church. We were able to save the park with a joint ownership agreement. And now we're out here today getting ideas for what is it that kids and neighbors want to see in the park that we're going to build. We don't want to come in here and say, hey, this is what the city's going to do. We want the neighbors to tell the city what they would like to see here. With having green space, it really opens up our, our kind of our playbook on what we can provide to the community as far as classes and those type of fun events, you know, as I mentioned, movies in the park, um, holiday events, you know, um, those, those, are, those, are, those are things that really brings the community out, you know, gives them a safe place to, to really enjoy those events and those opportunities. So I'm excited for that uh, to, to really give us that, that opportunity to expand and enhance what we've already done here to, to bigger and better. For those who may not um, be here today, uh, we want to make sure they have a, an active uh, role in this and, be, and have that ability to participate in that. So, so really I think what happens next is listening to the community, listening to their needs, their wants, and uh, coming up with a, a scope of work that we can then get a design consultant, engineer, architect on board to, to really start putting pen to paper and, and bringing this to life.